U.S. Navy aircraft carriers are crucial for projecting military power globally, especially in high-risk regions like the Middle East. Recently, the Navy increased its presence there by adding a second aircraft carrier, highlighting their importance in modern military strategy. But how do these massive ships protect themselves in hostile environments? This video explores the advanced technology, strategic coordination, and defense systems that safeguard U.S. aircraft carriers in times of threat the role of the Carrier Strike Group. At the core of any U.S. aircraft carrier's defense is the Carrier Strike Group. This highly coordinated team of warships, submarines, and aircraft works together as a formidable protective screen, ensuring the carrier is never alone when faced with danger. The Carrier Strike Group includes various types of vessels, each playing a vital role in detecting, intercepting, and neutralizing threats before they can reach the carrier. The surface ships, including destroyers and cruisers, create a defensive perimeter, while submarines provide stealthy underwater protection. The aircraft on board the carrier extend the protective reach, conducting surveillance and striking potential threats from the air. Together, the CSG forms an impenetrable defense network that ensures the safety of the carrier, no matter how intense the threat may be. The first line of defense. The aircraft carrier is never deployed without its protective team. Surrounding it are escort vessels that form the outer layer of its defense, providing the carrier with a protective barrier. These escorts are made up of multiple types of warships, including cruisers and destroyers, which serve as the backbone of the defense perimeter. Cruisers such as the Ticonderoga class are heavily equipped with advanced radar systems and surface-to-air missile launchers, allowing them to detect and neutralize aerial threats long before they get within striking range of the carrier. Destroyers, on the other hand, provide more specialized protection, including rapid response missile systems and close-in weaponry the submarine's silent guardian role. While most people envision surface ships when they think of naval defense, submarines also play a crucial role in protecting aircraft carriers. These silent sentinels are equipped with advanced sonar systems that allow them to detect and track enemy submarines and surface vessels. In many ways, submarines provide an invisible defense, remaining undetected and ready to strike if an enemy threatens the carrier from beneath the waves. Submarines are particularly effective in the event of a multi-pronged attack, where both surface and subsurface threats converge on the carrier. With the ability to engage both surface ships and underwater targets, submarines ensure that the carrier's defense remains robust across all fronts. The brain behind the defense One of the most impressive technological advancements in naval warfare is the Aegis Combat System, a powerful digital system installed aboard U.S. destroyers and cruisers. This system serves as the brain of the defense, enabling warships to track and engage multiple targets simultaneously. Aegis is capable of identifying, prioritizing, and engaging threats with incredible precision. It can track thousands of objects in the air and on the surface, and its missile systems can intercept a wide range range of incoming threats, from ballistic missiles to enemy aircraft. The speed and efficiency of the Aegis system make it indispensable for the protection of U.S. aircraft carriers. In essence, Aegis acts as a central nervous system that connects the various elements of the carrier's defense network, ensuring seamless communication and coordination between the carrier and its supporting vessels. The carrier's own defensive systems. While the carrier strike group plays an essential role in the protection of an aircraft carrier, the carrier itself is equipped with its own own set of advanced defensive systems. These systems are designed to provide the ship with an additional layer of protection, ensuring that it is not reliant solely on its escort vessels for defense. Advanced Radar Systems Radar is the first line of defense for any military vessel, and aircraft carriers are no exception. U.S. carriers are equipped with sophisticated radar systems capable of detecting a wide range of threats from air, surface, and subsurface sources. These radars can track incoming missiles, enemy aircraft, and even hostile submarines, providing real-time data to the carrier's command center. The radar systems aboard a U.S. aircraft carrier are designed for precision and speed, ensuring that the crew can respond respond to threats quickly and efficiently. With radar technology that can spot a target hundreds of miles away, the carrier is able to take preemptive action long before an enemy reaches its vicinity. Surface-to-air missiles In addition to radar, U.S. aircraft carriers are equipped with surface-to-air missiles, which are designed to intercept incoming threats at long ranges. These missile systems are capable of targeting both aircraft and incoming missiles, providing an additional layer of defense. 
The most prominent surface-to-air missiles on board are the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile and the RIM-174 standard extended range active missile. These systems can engage targets at varying distances, ensuring that even if an attack is launched from a distance, the carrier has a defense mechanism ready to intercept. Close-in weapon systems. If a threat manages to bypass the carrier's radar and missile systems, there's one final line of defense, the close-in weapon system. The close-in weapon system is an automated system that uses rapid-fire guns to engage targets at close range. It's designed for scenarios where missiles or aircraft get too close for standard interception. The close-in weapon system, often known by its specific brand name, Phalanx, is capable of firing thousands of rounds per minute, ensuring that no hostile object can penetrate the last line of defense. The system's ability to respond in real time, without human intervention, makes it one of the most effective close-range defenses in the world. The role of aircraft. While surface ships and submarines are essential components of a carrier's defense, the aircraft aboard the carrier play a pivotal role in maintaining air superiority and ensuring the carrier's safety. These aircraft are trained to engage both air and surface threats, often extending the carrier's reach far beyond its immediate vicinity. Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft carriers typically carry early warning and control planes, such as the E-2C Hawkeye, which provides a bird's-eye view of the surrounding airspace. These aircraft are equipped with radar systems that can detect and track incoming aircraft or missiles from hundreds of miles away, giving the carrier ample time to react to potential threats. The airborne early warning and control aircraft also play a crucial role in managing the overall air defense of the strike group, coordinating with other warships and aircraft to create a seamless defensive perimeter around around the carrier. Fighter jets and interceptors. Fighter jets, such as the F-A-18 Hornet, are stationed aboard aircraft carriers to engage any hostile aircraft that may approach the carrier. These jets are equipped with advanced weapons and systems to engage enemy planes at both short and long ranges. The jets also provide air superiority, meaning they can neutralize enemy aircraft before they can pose a threat to the carrier. In the event of an attack, these fighter jets become the first line of defense against hostile aircraft, capable of intercepting and neutralizing threats long before they can reach the carrier training and communication. A key element of any defense strategy is communication, and the U.S. Navy places immense emphasis on the training and coordination required to respond to threats in real time. The defense of an aircraft carrier is not a passive operation. It's a high-stakes, highly coordinated effort that involves numerous military branches and personnel working together to protect the ship. Naval personnel undergo rigorous training to ensure they can respond to a variety of scenarios. From missile threats to aerial assaults, the crew is prepared for almost any eventuality. Communication is seamless between the carrier, its escorts, and supporting aircraft, ensuring that every asset is used in the most effective way possible. If you enjoyed this breakdown of US aircraft carrier defense, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more awesome military content. Got thoughts or questions? Drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Stay tuned for more exciting videos about defense tech and military strategy.